Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Kentucky Humane Society's Tuxes and Tails Gala. I'm Dr. Emily Bewley, the shelter veterinarian for KHS, and I'm excited to share with you some of the amazing work done day in and day out by the everyday heroes at the Kentucky Humane Society. Working at an animal shelter can be tough. It's often a dirty job, and there's not a day when we don't get peed or pooped on. But the kisses, purrs, and tail wags we get from the animals make up for it. We see the best in people, but also the worst. Every day, animals come to us because someone has let them down. Some have been starved, others abused. Many have illnesses or injuries. Some arrive with physical scars and others with emotional scars. But for every dog, cat, or horse, the incredible team at KHS is here for them. From our kennel staff who greet the animals each morning and tuck them in each night, to our fosters and volunteers who love each animal as their own, to our adoption counselors who celebrate every single time an animal finds their forever family. The team at KHS goes above and beyond. They comforted animals during the 4th of July fireworks. They slept at the shelter during a snowstorm to make sure the animals were fed. They cared for dogs rescued from a hoarding situation. They patiently taught free roaming horses to trust and fed an orphan foal in the middle of the night. They helped Mama Bear, whom you may have met tonight, give birth to nine adorable little fuzzballs in our veterinary suite. They even rushed over to my house one night when a pregnant foster cat gave birth in my ceiling. They drilled holes through the drywall, searching for hours to rescue the newborn kitten. By the way, please spay or neuter your pets. I can't say enough good things about the heroes at the Kentucky Humane Society, but our work is only possible because of you. And tonight, we invite you to make a special gift to our Tender Loving Care Fund, or TLC. TLC funds are set aside to provide medical or behavioral care for the most at-risk animals who come to us. Without these funds, we could not afford the extensive rehabilitation needed to save their lives. The dogs, cats, and horses at KHS depend on this fund and on you. By donating to the TLC fund, you save them. Animals like Molly Mae. This loving senior had been overbred and medically neglected for years. By the time she arrived at KHS, she had the largest mammary tumors we had ever seen. They were so massive that Molly May required two stage mastectomy surgeries to remove them all. With your support, Molly May made a full recovery and the staff celebrated her adoption with an ice cream party. Arzana was a free roaming horse rescued from a busy roadway in Eastern Kentucky where she was in danger of being hit. At just two years old, Arzana was already heavily pregnant, a baby having a baby. Our staff stayed up all night watching a baby cam so we could help her deliver a healthy colt. Flossie came to KHS after she had been shot through the face at point blank range. The way the bullet had been angled, she must have been looking up at her abuser when she was shot. The bullet ripped through her muzzle, tongue, jawline, and neck. Flossie required extensive dental surgeries to repair the damage. She spent weeks at KHS living and healing with us in vet services not only healing from her physical injuries, but also her emotional ones. She's now living in her forever home, a spoiled princess. Senior cat Debonair arrived at KHS as a euthanasia request. He was missing most of his fur, was underweight, and had a chronic eye issue that left him in constant pain, his lashes rubbing against his eyes with every blink. Worse, he was dying from feline leukemia. Despite all this, when we offered him food, Debonair ate like a champ. The old guy still had some fight left in him. We gave him medicine and healthy food and corrected his eye issue with surgery. Debonair blossomed into his name. He found an amazing family who promises to love him no matter how short his time on earth may be. All of these animals were given second chances because of you. But the animal that captured not only our hearts, but the world's was Ethan. On January 29th, 2021, a dying dog was dumped in the Kentucky Humane Society's parking lot. A family dropping off donations saw him and alerted staff 
who rushed him into the veterinary suite. My team and I stopped everything we were doing and started emergency life-saving treatment. Ethan, as we later named him, was the thinnest dog we had ever seen that was still alive. He was just 38 pounds when he should have been over 100. His temperature was too low to even register on the thermometer. We thought his chance of survival was less than 10%. But Ethan, whose name means strong-willed in Hebrew, defied all odds. And each day, people across our community and the globe turned into social media to track his progress. The world cheered each victory. The first time he ate from a bowl, the first time he walked, the first time he barked, and the first time he played. During the worst days of the pandemic, Ethan gave us all hope. We took inspiration from Ethan's love and gentleness and his happiness at meeting new friends, both two-legged and four-legged. Finally, Ethan was healthy enough to go home. We were thrilled when his foster dad and mom, Jeff and Dana, made Ethan a permanent member of their family. The world helped us celebrate his adoption on March 10th. But unfortunately, Ethan still struggles from the abuse he endured. This summer, Ethan began having daily seizures. A neurologist found that Ethan has lesions in his brain caused by the extreme starvation and trauma he suffered before his rescue. For all of us who know and love Ethan, the news is devastating. To overcome so much only to face this. Jeff and Dana celebrate the good days Ethan has and console him on his bad days. While we may not know what the future holds, we take comfort in knowing that Ethan has given and received more love over the last seven months than many animals experience over a lifetime. But there are many more Ethans out there who need our help. They are counting on all of us, and we are counting on you. Please give to the TLC Fund. Your donations will mean the world to the animals and to those of us who work so hard to save them. With your generosity, we will keep working our tails off to save theirs.